Welcome to this Widex e-learning tutorial on how to fit the Audibility Extender in Compass GPS. The feature makes it possible to extend your client's range of hearing into the high frequencies. This feature uses true linear transposition to move important sounds from the inaudible frequency regions into the audible frequency regions. To demonstrate the various possibilities, we have used two Widex Dream 440 Fusion hearing aids with factory set data in a binaural fitting situation. If your client is a candidate to benefit from the Audibility Extender feature, it is recommended that you have completed precision fitting. As from Compass GPS, the Audibility Extender is a feature applicable to all or selected programs in the fitting. In fine-tuning, you should have defined the preferred programs in the Program Manager. Note, the amount of programs depends on your mapping of and or knowledge of the client's needs and the hearing aid model. To access the Audibility Extender window, you should be in the Fine-Tuning window. Click the Audibility Extender button, marked with a bird icon, in the More Tools menu. Now you see the Selected Programs tab, showing the programs to which the Audibility Extender feature has been applied. If not yet defined, you can choose two different approaches. Apply the feature to all programs in the hearing aids, or to specific programs. Select All Programs if you want the settings to influence all current programs in the hearing aids and programs that you may add later on. If you select Specific Programs, define the programs to which you wish to apply the Audibility Extender by marking the checkboxes. When you select All Programs, or if you select the Master Program under Specific Programs, the Audibility Extender will also influence the Smart Toggle Program, Transmitted Sound, and DAI-MDAI programs. Note that if special conditions apply to the use of the Audibility Extender with a specific program, you can get on-screen information by mousing over the Information icon. You can deactivate binaural adjustments if you need different settings for left and right in a binaural fitting. This means that you can apply the Audibility Extender to different programs and even with different settings for each hearing aid. Once the Audibility Extender is applied, the gray shaded area in the graphic view shows the frequency range which will be transposed. Note. The graphic view always reflects the settings for the master program. If the Audibility Extender is selected for different programs only, the graphic view will only be updated if you select one of these programs. To adjust the settings of the Audibility Extender for the selected programs, click the Settings tab. You can define the start frequency of the Audibility Extender from the drop-down list. The recommended start frequency is marked with the compass icon. The choice is visualized in the graphics overview. If you change the graphic view to the sound tracker, showing the gain, the disabled bands above the start frequency are displayed. The bars below the start frequency indicate the gain of the bands. The block inside these bars show the gain of the transposed signal. The transposed signal is applied with the same loudness as the original sound in the bands from which sound is transposed. Once activated, the frequency range above the start frequency that is transposed can be widened upwards by clicking the expanded frequency range. Note that it is only possible to use the expanded frequency range when the start frequency is equal to or below 2500 Hz. Below, you can adjust the gain offset for the transposed signal. If needed, you can increase or decrease the gain of the transposed signal in the fitting. To let the client experience the effect of the actual settings applied in other programs than the master program, the Demonstrate feature in the center 
lets you toggle between the programs to which the Audibility Extender has been applied. When clicking on a program icon in the Demonstrate feature, Compass GPS will change the program in the hearing aid and show how the Audibility Extender is applied in the hearing aids.